hey guys it's phase one once again with another video um we got some more evocati leaks um this time we're gonna actually um sit down and discuss more about the 400i and uh there's some information that just came out um some of the documentation in regards to the ship and what it is and what it's meant to be um take everything in this video with a grain of salt it might change it might be completely off so these are speculations and um so that's what i wanted to discuss with you guys today all right if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already like anything if you like anything in this video make sure to leave a like as well if you dislike dislike as well all right so let's get let's get started so there are two images i'm sure a lot of you have already seen these images but this is the first time i'm actually seeing the back of the ship um so this is kind of what it looks like here all right so now some of the information that came out which i wanted to discuss with you guys is uh here so let's let, let me just get right into it so the first point that they're saying here is firstly i want to give a big thanks to star citizen leaks for getting this information now once again let's take this with a grain of salt it might be off it might be the truth but um i think it makes sense for what, what we we're going to talk about here all right so the 400i was built to compete with the freelancer and the cutlass as a multi-role vessel within origins refined design so right now a lot of people think that the 400i is supposed to compete with the connie's or the msrs and ships of, uh, of that size but thinking about it now it makes more sense that this ship is designed to compete with the cutlasses and the freelancers simply due to the fact that it's significantly it's significantly smaller than a connie because look at it look how look how thin the ship is it's slimmer it's a lot slimmer than a connie so there's no way they can fit a lot of uh the the a lot of the things that you would see in a connie in terms of spacing right so it makes sense why it's thin and um it, it's uh it looks like there isn't that much space in the ship so it makes sense in terms of the sizing of the ship that this is competing with the cutlasses and the freelancers so the assumption would then be the 500i which i'm sure they haven't spoken about but i'm sure that it is they are talking about it will be will be the ship that will compete with the connie's and the msrs all right so which will obviously be bigger than this right so i think it makes sense that this ship is competing with the freelancers and the cutlasses all right so the next thing that they said was uh the cockpit is the same old origin style with two support seats and a central pilot so similar to the um the 600i all right one support station um, accesses the rear remote uh, turret. So there's a remote turret, all right? Two engineering zones makes up the back and one making up a large component, making up large components and another making up the rest, okay? The exterior entrances uses an airlock, okay? So the next point that they're saying here is there is a captain's quarters and a crew quarters. Okay, that's that's nice. Okay, uh, for two additional members. Um, so that's like three. This is a three man ship. Okay, makes sense. That's interesting that there's a captain's quarters and a crew's quarters. It's it's cool to have it that way. It's especially for a six uh, um, a four hundred i. It's it's nice that the captain has his own um, thing as opposed to the msr where everybody's sharing the same thing so i like i like that it's it makes it makes it a little bit more unique um so the next piece is each bed has its own equipment locker for crewman's gear okay and a single bathroom shared for everyone and there is a mirror and a toilet is implied as they say here all right so a ship armory accessible by biometric lock accessible by those allowed by the captain that is interesting a biometric lock i wonder what's how that's going to look like i wonder if the character your pl the player character will have to interact with that um some special way if the 
maybe the the, the player character scans it through his eyes or something like that I'm, I'm curious to see how that actually looks like in game all right so a suit locker for your eva and armor okay um these including the garage makeup um the six primary rooms the 400i uh seven if you count the captain's quarters as a separate room okay so seven rooms in total all right so the garage is a separate is separate so the garage is is separate from cargo and is made to store a single g12 okay g12 rover okay so you have a separate area so you don't have to sacrifice cargo space to put a rover right the fact that they have it separated so i'm wondering if the cargo space will also be limited because the size of the ship right so you got to consider that um so that's interesting um so this garage is accessible via a ramp um that touches uh the surface okay so the cargo area is similar to the 300i in which the underbelly comes down okay 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 to the ground to allow for storage okay interesting interesting i like that um so then again so evil Cardi is saying that there's no guarantee that they 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 bear they, there's no guarantee that this information is is fully accurate but this is what they found um once again all of this could change but uh these are these are just speculations that they um a, a document that they found and they were able to leak that out all right so you guys let me know what you guys think about what we just spoke about um if you haven't already subscribed if you've seen anything in this video that you liked leave a like as well all right i will see you on the next one